just what you're doing. Is that straight? Joanna sits here. Joey sits here. <laughs> God, I saved it! <laughs> I just saved it! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We're on the second channel and we're back with our Q&A series and I've joined by a gorgeous, sexy, talented, smart, funny, crazy, sexy, sexy again. You forgot my name, haven't you? Joey James Noel! <laughs> we actually started filming this video March. eight weeks ago <laughs> in LA and didn't get to finish it so we've decided to scrap that and start again. Yeah, it wasn't very good anyway, was No, it? it wasn't. People submitted questions on my Instagram so I'm going to go through some of those. I'm going to have to dig them out of the deep dark depths of my Instagram. So whilst I'm doing that, do you want to give yourself a bit of an introduction? Tell us what you do for a living because I know a lot of people ask that question. Do they? Okay, okay. I'll get going with that and you get the questions. And I'll get the rest of the questions, yeah. So I work for a popular online menu company. Are you not allowed to say what it is? I don't know. Um, Use your imagination. Yeah, you can guess. It's one of those and it's quite orange. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm an area manager for them day to day in sales, which I've been doing for three years. I really enjoy that. And then, yeah, that's what I'm employed as. And then I've also got a side business in property investing. And what does property investing mean for people who are watching this and don't know? Okay, so there's lots of types of property investing, but I buy a crappy house, add value so it's a better house, rent it out, and then take as much money out of that property as I can with mortgages and recycle my properties to uh, my money. So I'm getting more and more properties over time. I'm currently at number eight. Love it. And what made you start doing that? When did you start doing that? And what made you start doing that? Um, I bought my first property when I was 21 in 2012. Okay. Uh, so like nine years ago, because I'm 30 now. Um, and I don't know what made me do it. I was gonna, I was looking at buying a Domino's or, and then maybe- a Domino's? Yeah, seriously. That is so mad. Seriously. And then I was looking at buying a wind turbine. Right. Because there used to be a really good grant you could get, which I think they ended in 2012, so you got extra money per kilowatt. Okay. And I was honestly trying to buy a wind turbine, uh, so but that funny. didn't work out. I didn't get enough time, and, and I thought, what am I going to do with this? Like this money I've saved up, and I thought, right, I'll just, I'll just buy a house. So bought a house. It wasn't the perfect house that I would buy now. I could get something more profitable, or just owning that house for nine years, it's, it's paid me back. So it's, I would say, if you're thinking of or waiting to buy a house, you're better off buying a house and waiting because it's going to go up in value Love if it. you're interested in that. Love it. We've got lots of house exciting news coming throughout the rest of the year, but we won't bother you with that now. Cool. Another big question on this list, which I've now found, is how on earth did you end up friends with us and part of the squad? Yeah and having no gymnastics ability whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So for someone who has no gymnastics ability whatsoever, I used to go to the University of Leeds, studied business there, and there were some videos on different societies, and I saw the gymnastics one, and I thought, that looks so cool. I would love to learn to do a backflip. So I went along, really nervous. I remember like going to my first thing, like the first day of school, my little bag up, like, hey, my friend. <laughs> so like just the other people at, um, at the uni. And then we got to uh, the gym, and Luke and Ash would coach is there and got friends with them really quickly and then I was training for the Olympics just at the back of the gym and Matty who was a coach there as well so me and Luke got really friendly quite quickly then me Luke and Ash and then I just sort of slowly moved in and that was in 2015 so seven years ago so it's, wow. been, it's been a while and what about me and you I, I think we're like a year and a half in yeah. or something I think we met like just after lockdown yeah. and stuff probably like I say I've known Joey and of Joey probably since he knew the boys mm. but since since I think the boys moved in here and like that whole transition period. I mean, I spoke about this with, with Luke in his Because you were traveling, weren't you, just before yeah. lockdown as well? Um, that it's everything sort of transitioned for me personally from being like Niall's sister to actually being everyone's yeah. friend myself. She's really nice yeah, because we're very silly we, together. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think like, it's like day by day we're getting closer and closer yeah, to yeah. friendship. Like, I just re like we work really hard together, yeah. but we also just a have this unbelievable, silly. like a shorthand <laughs> language. Which no one, could, any, yeah. no one could even understand. Yeah. Do you think you would ever have a YouTube channel? Ooh. If you'd asked me two years ago, I'd say no way, never. Okay. And today it's not quite no way, never. But okay. 
I don't know. I just need to work out what I would do on YouTube. I'm okay. looking at doing some more bits on Instagram, yeah. which I've literally just started doing. They relate more to your business and your yeah, property. Yeah, more yeah. to do. I, I quite like being like a sideline character, being my crazy silly self in the background of all you guys' videos. Um, I don't know if I could make a, a YouTube. I mean, I'd just watch you. <laughs> That's one. How much money do you get for one subscriber? Yeah. Like a million pounds? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so maybe not YouTube, but I'm definitely going to be doing some more Instagram stuff and try and keep my, my personality mixed up with like, the stuff I actually do for money yeah. and, and what I'm trying to Love it. do with my time. Um, so speaking about money and doing things with your time, then what, what's your goals right now? What What is it you're currently working towards? So, personally and professionally. Okay, ooh, good question. So personally, I guess I'm, um, ooh. I feel like lines are pretty blurred between in yeah. our, all of our lives, yeah. between personal and professional. Yeah, because we do, you know, we have one minute and then we're all, like just today, we've been working all day, you know, been to the gym, having a bit of fun, then straight into working. And in between that, we've been yeah. bouncing ideas off us in a work sense and also in a fun sense, because yeah. we've got that level of friendship where we can not be judgmental, but be honest, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, like absolutely. today, like the stuff from now came up, we all worked together to get it. Yeah, and I honestly yeah, feel right. like where I'm at with my life right now, and probably I don't want to put words in your mouth, but see what your thoughts are on this, is that my personal goals are my professional goals. And my professional goals are mm. my personal goals, because everything that I'm working on is for both. Yeah. it all sort of intertwines at the minute. Like We're making lives, aren't we? Not, I'd, not a living. I'd agree. I'd agree. Like with the, I guess one of my personal goals is to do more like fun bits. And that, you know, when we did the 50 goals at the yeah, beginning of the year, yeah. I put lots of things that I wanted to do that if I hadn't put them on there, you I might not have got about. So like charity work, I've just recently uh, started being a like a phone a friend person to a, like someone who's lonely with Age UK. And that's something I, I kept thinking I wanted to do, but I haven't done until I've put it on my goals and now I've started yeah. doing that. Uh, professional goals, I've got lots of professional goals. Uh, so my newest goal is I want to have 100 houses. And I think that I'm going to be able to do that in the next eight to 10 years if I work hard. Which you do. So I better. Very, 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 very Yeah, hard. I try my best. That is awesome. What's your favourite memory with the boys or with the whole squad? Have you got any like standout favourite memories? Favourite memories? We've had some really fun Otley runs like yeah. years ago. Describe what the Otley run is for people. Oh, like sorry. Okay. So in Leeds, there's a road called Otley Road. There is. You know do any running in it that's the best bit but it has 17 pubs on this road so you start at the, the top pub which is called Woody's uh, which is the furthest away from the city centre and you sort of do a pub crawl all the way and the last one's in the city centre uh, we're actually going to do one on Sunday yeah we are for Luke's, for Luke's birthday. birthday yeah that'll be good uh, and generally people dress up on the Otley run as well sorry yeah you and just always a, you make a theme and on Sunday the theme is Luke's Luke Stoney <laughs> so, so please keep your eyes out for that we're all booked in for a tattoo <laughs> yeah and yeah I've got this, there's a lot of fun memories i i could easily think of a million times where i look around and we're all just picking ourselves yeah. laughing special times in la i think yeah we had some really fun times yeah had lots of good times i'd have to have a little think about that where does all your craziness come from hmm i'm one of those people the more people around me the more energy i have uh, quite extroverted uh, so i do i do have my downtime like i i like tonight after this i'm gonna go home and just cork and make some nice food and have my downtime my batteries do run out at one point yeah. but I am also very high energy. Yeah. And even when I'm on my own, sometimes like working wise, my, I can be completely still, but I'm like shaking with, with energy working. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, where did it come from? I don't know. It's just my little bit of magic. Are your family similar in energy? Or are you a little no, not fireball? My, not my parents, not my, but my brother does have a lot of energy. He has a lot of uh, excess energy and he's just always moving and doing things. Maybe not as screamy as me, but he, he has the energy. He Love definitely it. has a lot of energy. Love it. I think you've got a really good balance, haven't you? Being out there, being around people, energy, taking in other people's energy, mm. but then also having that time on your own as well yeah. to re recharge. And Definitely, I have. I, d I don't really have a in in between. Have you ever got that wrong? You have, have you had to learn about yourself and who you give your energy to and how you spend your energy and when it's too much and mm. stuff like that. I think yeah. In the last couple of years, I've 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 learned where I've I've got a bit much and I can just and I'm quite happy to take myself off and just think you know some, not everyone wants to hear me screaming for 18 hours a day. Okay. You don't. Mind. I do. <laughs> but, but yeah, there's moments of think, right, you know what? Let everyone have a little Joey break. Yeah. And that's fine. I'm happy with that. But yeah, I've definitely learned not to tone myself down, but maybe just withdraw myself and yeah. keep myself as a bit of a treat. <laughs> um, I think you said this earlier, but I'll ask it again. How old are you? 30. 30 years old. And you're 31 in June. Yeah, Joey's birthday is two days after my birthday. Yeah. Someone said, how does it feel to be the hottest member of the squad? Who the hell said, did you send this for me? 
<laughs> and it was asked by Joanna James. Um, <laughs> as of five seconds ago, when I found that out, it feels fantastic. <laughs> but I would, I would also say to whoever wrote that uh, that there are many programs to help you get the help you need because I'm <laughs> clearly not, not mentally stable. To um, tell us a joke. What's a good joke? I don't really, I'm not really a, a catch not really person. A joke, kind I'll of joke like. off any situation. Someone says something and I'll think of something that I think is silly or funny to say off it, but I'm not. Like Ellis is fantastic at what's brown and sticky at a stick. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I, I, don't, I don't have lines yeah. like that at all. I just, the world is my joke. <laughs> Uh, right, two more questions. Oh. First one, um, what if you could have one trait from each member of the squad? So six, Joanna, Sammy, Niall, Ellis, Luke and Ash. Mm -hmm. What would that be? Okay, so generally I'm quite a deep thinker. Okay. So I would normally hear that and come back in two days. Okay. But, but we've got four minutes. Okay, four minutes. So I'm gonna go, like Ash has a really good brain for just, yeah, he just has a, a good brain for, for working things out and just going quiet Creative. and just, yeah. And you know what, actually, he's, maybe he's creative, it's it. He's very creative. But I guess he's, yeah, he's planning, he's detailed. When he wants to do something, he does it properly. Yeah. Have I said that in the right way? Yeah, absolutely. Just, yeah, I he, he does things properly, he doesn't yeah. mess about. Yeah. And, he, and Ash, I'm really big in Ash, up away. Also, if you tell Ash something once, He's got it, like teaching him something. Yeah. He's like, oh Ash, by the way, you, you've never done this. This is how you do it. And he just listens very carefully and then he does exactly what Or watches someone do yeah. something. And then he's got it, he's just got it. So that's cool. I don't know what you'd call that in one word. Annoying. Annoying, yeah, <laughs> just annoying. What about Luke? Oh, uh, Luke, Luke is unbelievably caring. So his, it, my favourite trait in Luke is definitely like how, how much he cares for you and just is uh, just always like, he's really, really there for you. Yeah. At the moment, you really need it as well. Yeah, love it. Yeah, Joanna. Mm, it's a bit tough. Uh, Joanna has unbelievable positivity. You're so po I mean, I, I like to think I'm quite a positive person, but you, you just keep are. going. I just find you just can keep going at all. And you've got patience as well. Things don't bother you that, that I, I wouldn't have that same patience with people. So I think patience with people. Okay. It's a really good one. Thank you. Sammy? Sammy. See, Sammy's, Sammy's a really hard working person. I think she, like, she's doing something a bit different to a bit like with her programs and stuff. She's designing one at the moment and just like, she, she says she's going to do something. She just does it and that's the end of it. So like she's, I've had this idea and she gets this like addiction to it until it's done. Really, really good. So yeah. yeah, that's what I like about Sammy. Ellis? Ellis is really, really lovely guy and very talented with, um, with editing actually. Ellis is lovely. He's really helped me out with little bits like I was mentioning Instagram before he gave me loads of ideas I wanted to give him some money or help him or buy something but and he was like no nope, absolutely like he was just really really happy to to help me out with that so yeah I'm, I'm just dead lucky all these people are very very nice people and Neely no Niall oh, I was like Nick what Niall's dad <laughs> uh, who has lots of lovely traits by the way <laughs> uh, Niall Niall Niall's got some interesting traits hasn't he so the things he's good at are things that he's bad they're at. not generic at all <laughs> no, what was it? Like, they're just not generic it's not like he's not tidy god I don't like that trait on him <laughs> his messiness uh, Niall's unbelievable creativity I'd say yeah thinking outside the box yeah and just thinking of things that you wouldn't you wouldn't even think about I can't e explain it. he's got under he's got a different brain yeah to other people yeah absolutely. Uh, I yeah I, I couldn't couldn't think and do what Niall does yeah I agree that's that's what I'd say love it is that all right yeah love it started again no we've started again yeah we're on my phone now so the quality has changed significantly you can still we're see just... the hottest member of the team yeah here, you right? can she's right here I hope he would right here, oh, actually. Right. We'll oh, agree right. to Is disagree. It Is it I'm not um, we were just saying how that was actually 18 minutes, but it felt like it was about three. Felt like minutes, like a couple yeah. of minutes. But I'm so glad that people have seen more of the sit down, serious, lovely Joey that we see on a day to day basis. Semi serious. Semi serious, very silly. And semi. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. We've got plenty more people coming on the second channel QA. My mum and dad are doing a question and answer. And we are also getting finally the final member of the squad, who is Ashley, to do That'll a question and answer. Yeah. Taking um, questions in for that one. Yeah. Well, I know what I'll be asking. They've already been put in yesterday. The reason that I've, we've put it off so long is because we were dreading. Um, so we'll see you on those in the future. Remember to like and subscribe. It is the second channel, so you might be subscribed to the main one and not the second one. Subscribe to this one too. Please, more chilled out content or relaxed vlogging. I have a question. Yes. With the whole hand slap, can I do a kiss to the camera? Absolutely. But what kiss. do we do before we do that? Just... Mm. Yeah, so we say thanks for watching, everyone. Keep smashing it. And remember, anything, anything is, is possible, possible if you... you
Just where? All right, where? Oh, we're not on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was on that.